Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be getting started on working on our first fully functional plugin. Well, I guess our second fully functional plugin. So we are going to be making an economy plugin. And now I know that I had a few live streams where I started working on this right here, which we call the economy. Um, I decided that it's, it's probably better suited for just to just make a series about it. So that way you don't have to sit there and watch a two hour, three hour live stream to sort of start understanding how to start building your own economy plugin. So I have actually put those videos as unlisted. Um, they will not be live just for the purposes of this because we are going to change a few things up. Um, but yeah, so I just want to go over a few things, what you should get set up and what you should have ready for the next episode on Tuesday. So the first things first is obviously you're going to need your uh, an IDE, uh, whether that be Eclipse, IntelliJ, NetBeans, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with. The next thing is you're going to want to go ahead and download Vault. We are going to be linking our economy plugin with Vault directly. And now we're doing this um, because there is so many plugins that support vault and i'm trying to see if they're if they have a list still um that shows their support for what plugins they, they might not have it anymore i'm pretty sure they used to have it but either way it's super compatible with so 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 many plugins um that is actually pretty pretty disgusting uh, how how compatible it is uh the next thing you want to do is download luck perms or uh a plug or a permissions plugin of your choice uh, that can really be whatever you want. Um, I think Luck Perms is, I mean, obviously, as you can see here, it is probably one of the most dynamic, sort of offers a lot of different options. Um, and I believe this does work with Vault. So if it doesn't, we'll go ahead and fix that. But really, the permissions plugin isn't, we don't need it to specifically work with Vault um, because we just need to be able to get permissions. And I think Luck Perms is probably one of the better ones out there and it's probably the most kept up to date. Then the next thing is you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and make an account on MongoDB Atlas. And as you can see here, you can get started for free. Um, you can have one free um, instance or, or one free shell or whatever you wanna call it on MongoDB or one free database um, with a normal account. But either way, you can have um, a free account and you can have a free database because we're not gonna be needing a whole lot of performance out of this because we just don't because it's going to be just for us testing if you guys do plan to make this a public plugin, um, obviously people would have to input their own information and own databases unless you want to be super, super generous and host it for everyone yourself, which most people won't do and don't want to do. So you're going to need that. Then obviously you're going to need, um, then obviously you're going to go ahead and need your Spigot version. Now you can use whatever version you want to. Uh, I'm going to use 1.12.2, I believe is the most recent one that's out, or maybe 1.3, as I'm seeing right here, um, or 1.13. So use whatever version you want, just know that if you're not using the same version that I'm going to be using, um, it could prevent um, a few issues. Just keep that in mind. So that's all I really got for you guys today. Um, like I said, this was just really a project setup, or project overview, what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be using Vault, we're going to be hooking it into a database, and we're just going to make a really fully functional uh, economy plugin where players can send money, retrieve money, put money in bank accounts, open bank accounts, trade money between bank accounts, um, basically anything that you would normally be able to do and any other economy plugin. So that's all I got for you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. So get ready.